How do you feel about sneaking into your mistress's place and leaving your wife behind at night? Oh, uh, it's thrilling, and I'm so happy to be here with you. I love you. I was invited by my husband to go on an overseas trip. I woke up in the middle of the night and was shocked to witness a scene. To my astonishment, my husband was boldly engaged in an affair in another room of the same hotel. I captured the whole thing on camera, clenching my fists. He really underestimated me. Just wait and see. The next day after observing my husband snoring loudly in the room, I got up and left. Well then, I'll head home first to get out of the way. After packing my things, I headed to the airport, leaving my husband behind. My name is Samantha. I'm a newlywed working woman. I work in video production where I shoot and edit videos. I create videos for weddings and commercials, among other things. I've always wanted to work in the video industry, so I was very happy to join my current company after graduating from college. I became so engrossed in my work that before I knew it, I was 26 years old. I had broken up with my boyfriend during my university days and hadn't been in a relationship since. Seeing people around me getting married made me feel anxious. So I confided in my colleagues and asked if they knew anyone suitable. And that's how I was introduced to Alex, who would later become my husband. Alex was a salaried employee at a major travel company. He was quite good looking and initially I felt a bit self-conscious. However, for some reason, Alex seemed to like me. He pursued me persistently and that's how we began dating. Alex being in the travel industry was a genuine travel enthusiast. I also enjoyed filming videos during our trips and we often traveled together while we were dating. Eventually, during a special anniversary trip, Alex proposed to me. I happily accepted his proposal. My parents were also supportive of our marriage, so the next step was to visit Alex's parents. His welcoming parents seemed to be very kind-hearted people. Oh my, what a lovely young lady! Alex, you've done well! My mother-in-law praised me with a smile. My father-in-law echoed her sentiment. We have only one son, you know. Having a daughter is a joy. Hearing that, I felt relieved. Afterward, Alex and I had our wedding. We rented an apartment halfway between our workplaces and started our newlywed life. During this time, I realized that Alex was completely inept when it came to paperwork, contracts with real estate agencies and such. I just like complicated or troublesome things. Samantha, could you take care of them? Alex said that and pretty much left almost all the paperwork to me. I casually thought of the time that it was one of his cute traits and took care of it in his place. Our newlywed life with Alex after that was pure happiness. He still continued to delegate the troublesome stuff to me, but he helped with household chores and we went on dates together during weekends. We also frequently met with our in-laws. They had taken a liking to me and had built a good relationship with me. About six months after our marriage, one day, Alex and I were in town for shopping. As we were walking around town together, Alex was stopped by someone. Hmm? Could it be? Alex? There stood a tall and beautiful woman. Julia? The woman called Julia, surprising Alex smiled. Since high school graduation? Are you living around here? Yeah, I am. But Julia, what are you up to these days? I became a flight attendant, traveling the world on international flights. After proudly stating that, Julia suddenly turned her gaze towards me. And this person here? Could it be? Um, she's my wife. We got married last year. Julia seemed to be one of Alex's friends, I thought to myself. I nodded politely to her. Then Julia looked me up and down, chuckled and said, Oh, really? This is Alex's wife? There was something slightly pointed in the way she said it. Afterward, even though we parted ways with Julia, Alex seemed somewhat restless. I decided to ask Alex. So, what was the relationship between you and that Julia person from earlier? Huh? Uh, she was just a high school classmate. Is that really it? Well, we actually dated for about a year. Alex hesitated as he shared this information, and I thought to myself, I had a feeling. 
But today we just happened to run into each other and I don't think we'll have any future interactions. Don't worry about it too much. I decided to believe Alex's words. However, as time passed by, Alex suddenly became busy with work and started spending more time away from home. Weekday overtime became the norm and he even mentioned working on weekends, leaving for the office. I felt lonely because we couldn't find time for each other as a couple. I tried talking to him about it once. Hey Alex, why have you been so busy lately? Alex replied with a hint of annoyance. It's because of work. But we hardly have any time together. There's no other choice. While I'm not here, make sure you take care of the household chores properly. But since Alex started spending more time away from home, all the household chores that we used to share fell entirely on me, even though I was working too. My dissatisfaction kept growing, but he insisted it was because of work and I found myself unable to say anything. I reluctantly endured that way of life. Then one day, out of the blue, Alex started talking to me. Hey, how about going on a trip abroad next time? Huh? What's going on all of a sudden? Alex handed me a brochure, which turned out to be about Bali. Bali is a popular travel destination at my company, you know. Didn't you say you wanted to go, Samantha? I had indeed expressed my longing to visit Bali before. Alex seemed to remember that, and it made me happy. Yeah, I'd love to go. Alright, it's settled. Make sure to take some paid time off. Alex had a very happy expression on his face. I had been feeling frustrated by his recent attitude and frequent absences, but gradually those concerns faded away and I was eagerly looking forward to the day of the trip. On the day of our Bali trip, I bought a new video camera specifically for this occasion. I boarded the plane with excitement, but unfortunately it was raining when we arrived at our destination. I was a bit disappointed because we had plans to explore the city on the first day. However, the hotel that Alex had reserved for us turned out to be a wonderful place, so I was impressed. The facility consisted of several villa-style rooms, and each room was quite spacious and luxurious. They greeted us with a welcome drink and a variety of delicious-looking fruits right in front of us. Each room even has its own pool. Alex, thank you for preparing such a wonderful room. When I said this with excitement, Alex responded, saying, Let's spend a few days here and relax. By that time, the rain has stopped, and we enjoyed sightseeing to the fullest. Due to the tiredness of that night, I had fallen asleep in bed early. In the middle of the night, I woke up suddenly feeling thirsty. After drinking some bottled water from the bedside table, I realized something. Huh? Alex is not here. Alex, who was supposed to be sleeping beside me, had suddenly disappeared. I searched the room, but there was no sign of Alex. Upon closer inspection, I noticed that he hadn't even brought his shoes. He went out at this time of night? I put on my shoes, grabbed my camera, and went outside. I thought I'd search around, taking pictures of the Balinese landscape at night. However, there was no sign of Alex anywhere near the villa. I started to worry that something might have happened to him. Just then, I heard a conversation between a man and a woman coming from a nearby villa. Huh? Is that voice... Alex? Feeling somewhat rude, I peered into the villa. What immediately caught my eye was a pool in the room. Beside the pool and swimwear was undeniably Alex. Moreover, next to him was the familiar figure of Julia, his ex-girlfriend whom I had met in town that day. Huh? What's going on here? I was in a state of confusion by myself. On the other hand, they seemed completely unaware of being watched and were talking intimately. But you, Julia, sure can come up with amazing ideas. <laughs> I wanted to come here with you, Alex. I adjusted my travel plans to align with Bali. Meeting at night, isn't it romantic? The atmosphere between the two of them is clearly romantic. I see, that's what it is. I secretly turned on the camera and held it ready. So, how does it feel to sneak away from your wife to come to your lover's place? Oh, it's thrilling and fantastic. I'm happy to be here in Bali with you. I love you. And then they kissed. Their actions escalated, and eventually they ended up in the pool. 
I recorded every moment with the camera, clenching my fists. You've underestimated me quite a bit. Just wait and see. I left Julia's villa and returned to our room. After a while, Alex returned and started snoring beside me. After confirming that, I got up. Well, the intruder is leaving first. I packed my things and headed to the airport. Fortunately, there seemed to be an available early morning flight, so I was able to return home quickly. I got home, and a short while later, Alex called me. Samantha, where are you? My luggage is gone. Oh, I've already returned to the United States. Huh? What are you doing, acting on your own like this? Didn't you want to enjoy your time until the last day? Well then, bye. After I hung up, he sent me a message asking for an explanation. I ignored it and began my actions. It seems that even after I left, Alex continued to enjoy his stay in Bali. I wondered if today was his last day, and just as I thought that, I received a message from Alex himself. Hey, Samantha, what about my passport? It was only at that moment that I remembered the passport. Come to think of it, Alex had asked me on the first day to keep it for him, and I had left it in my possession. As I checked my belongings, I indeed found Alex's passport here. Oh, sorry. I brought it with me. I deliberately informed him in a cheerful tone, and Alex on the other end of the phone started to get furious. What the hell are you doing? If you do that, I won't be able to leave. I have no idea. Can't you figure it out yourself? I... I don't know what to do in a situation like this. I searched on the computer in front of me before responding. I can either send you the passport or you can go to the embassy to get a travel document for your return. It looks like we have no choice but to reissue your passport. Huh? Does that mean I can't go back for days if I don't do it? Of course. Oh, I have no intention of sending your passport, so figure it out yourself. Huh? You know I'm bad at handling these kind of procedures, right? Despite Alex's continuous shouts, I hung up the phone without paying much attention. Ignoring his incessant calls afterward, they eventually stopped coming. In the end, Alex returned home five days later. As he boldly entered the house, he began yelling at me without even seeing me. Hey, Samantha, because of you, I ended up in a terrible situation. Cut it out! With a face turning red, Alex yelled and his eyes widened like saucers. What? Mom and Dad? Why are they here? Indeed, my father-in-law and mother-in-law, whom I had called, were there. They were looking at both of us with a bewildered expression. I smirked and told him, Welcome back, Alex. I heard you know. I heard that your father handled all the arrangements for your return. It's quite pathetic for a grown adult. At that point, Alex gave me a glare. Isn't all of this your fault? My fault? Are you really sure about that? Huh? What are you pretending not to understand? I changed my tone and said, Well, how about we watch a fun travel log of your Bali trip right here? Huh? In front of the bewildered Alex, I turned on the TV. Scenic views of Bali that I had captured began to play with lively music. What are you doing? We should have talked before watching something like this. As Alex pressed me, I made a shushing gesture by placing my fingers on my lips. Be quiet. We're about to reach a critical scene. Huh? That's why I told you to stop this kind of... What? The screen switched to a scene at Julia's villa poolside. How does it feel, sneaking over to your lover's place, leaving your wife behind? Oh, it's thrilling and fantastic. I'm happy to be here in Bali with you. I love you. The two of them exchanged glasses by the poolside, having such a conversation. Hey, what is this? Why is something like this here? I calmly informed the pale Alex. That night, I woke up and witnessed this. Cameras these days are really high performance. You can capture such beautiful images. Hey, stop that. Stop it. As Alex tried to grab the remote control, I skillfully avoided him. On the TV screen, the blurred intimate acts between Alex and Julia was playing. However, it was quite clear what they were doing from the audio. My father-in-law and mother-in-law were frowning and covering their eyes. I even went so far as to put a blur for the sake of your parents, you know. You should be grateful to me. After returning to the United States, I used my editing skills from work to edit the images I had taken. I think it turned out like something from a drama, even if I say so myself. 
A panicked Alex yanked the TV's power cord and the video stopped. What the hell are you doing? That's my line. What the hell are you doing on a couple's vacation? As I scolded him, Alex was at a loss for words. Come on, confess the truth. Quickly. When I said that firmly, Alex began to speak with a pale face. He recounted the night he reunited with Julia at the shopping mall, receiving a message from her on social media, how they started meeting and quickly progressed to infidelity, and how he got carried away and agreed to this trip proposed by Julia. I see. Well, I had a pretty good idea already. As I said that, Alex immediately kneeled down. I'm sorry, Samantha. Please, forgive me. It was just a moment of weakness. At that moment, his mother delivered a strong slap to Alex. What is this idiot son of mine doing? Your actions are too malicious. M mom As Alex held his cheek and his eyes darted around, his father spoke. We cherished Samantha deeply, and you've ruined that. Dad? We're embarrassed to have someone like you in our family. Listen, Alex, we're cutting ties with you. Don't even step foot in our home. Huh? In front of a confused Alex, my parents-in-law apologized to me repeatedly. I also apologized, acknowledging that I had shown them something terrible. Dad, Mom, cutting ties? You can't be serious, right? And Samantha, won't you forgive me? In response to the panicked and flustered Alex, I retorted firmly. There's no way I'll forgive you. You and I are divorced. There's no other option. No way. Divorce? That's a lie, isn't it? You better prepare yourself because you'll be paying the compensation for your infidelity. As Alex slumped, his shoulders trembling with tears, I delivered the final blow. Oh, by the way, I also sent that video to your boss. And of course, I sent it to your mistress's workplace, too. Huh? I was asked why you weren't returning home, so I honestly explained and sent the video as evidence to the company's address. The unedited version, you know. What? You of all people! With a pale face, Alex began to tremble and my parents-in-law took him away. After that, Alex and I got divorced. The $20,000 fee for the affair was paid immediately. I also demanded $13,000 in compensation from Julia, and she accepted it as well. Thanks to my report, Alex and Julia's actions became known in the company. It seems they were both transferred to different departments. Alex was sent to a back office department and is rumored to be working there quietly. Julia, on the other hand, couldn't bear it and resigned from the company. Even after hearing all this, I have no sympathy for them. I hope they reflect on their actions at the very least. As for me, I used the compensation I received to move and start a new life. My career is also going well, and I recently got a promotion. I will continue to work hard and look for someone I can truly trust this time.